Over the last 10 years, Pennsylvania's abandoned mine land program has addressed an average of 80 AML emergencies per year. An AML emergency is an AML hazard caused by an abandoned coal mine that presents a high probability of harm to the health, safety, or general welfare of people. An abandoned coal mine recently caused a landslide that shut down Old Pittsburgh Road in Shenango Township, Lawrence County, Pennsylvania. The Old Pittsburgh Road landslide took out part of a township road in Shenango Township, Lawrence County. We investigated the site and found evidence that this clearly looked like an abandoned mine entry. What had happened was the entry had collapsed and then no longer allowed drainage to flow out of the coal mine, thereby trapping in our estimation, somewhere between 8 and 11 million gallons of water in Hillside. And as that water was trapped in Hillside, it was saturating the outslopes, which then caused the landslide, which took out part of Old Pittsburgh Road. We had to declare an abandoned mine land emergency project to address it. We got in with our own in-house construction crew and opened up the mine to control the drainage out of it to immediately help stabilize the slide. When they first opened that up, started draining it, it, it was a massive amount of water and it was steady, just hour after hour after hour. And I, I just thought to myself, I'm glad that they, I never knew it was there. I'm glad that they, somebody come up there and checked it out. There's somebody there to do that and to take care of it because if that would have re released the pressure on its own and washed out, it most likely would have done a lot of damage for me. But it would have knocked my house off the foundation, and that's for sure. Because that much water weight coming down that great of a hill, it's going to annihilate anything in its path. These are coal mines that have long since been abandoned. There is no responsible party for them. And, and quite frankly, most municipalities, townships don't know they exist. They go about their daily business, but they have no extra budget. They have no line item to address abandoned mines. Uh, if the abandoned mine land program would go away in Pennsylvania, there would be a huge liability that would be translated in real dollars to local government to try to fix or directly to property owners. And neither one have either the funding or the expertise to address those problems. This is an abandoned mine. I mean, you don't run into this very often. I was shocked, you know, you hear about those things and you hear about, you know, different cave-ins and stuff like that. But this project, I didn't know anything about it. And we had a situation where we just paved, uh, geez, 65% of the roads. We spent $3 million where we had water and sewer put in our township, which is a great thing, but we had needed money for that. So where we would have come up with a, this type of money have been, I don't know. I mean, you need, the federal government and the state government has to help us in some way. And with Bammer being there and what we just saw, what they did for us, I'll tell the world that this has to be done. Money has to be figured out to fund this type of thing all the time because small townships don't have any wiggle room and we need help. You just can't imagine the flow of water. We need professionals like Bammer out there. They didn't, didn't let anything get damaged on my property. And they kept me informed of why and what was going on through the whole ordeal. I had questions about some tanks that were dropped off answer all my questions about the chemicals being used, how and why. Uh, I have a stream running through my place, frogs and fish. They told me, well, the current of the water might wish them downstream, but they wouldn't, they'd make sure that the water was safe and nothing died. And they did, the fish got wished downstream, but the weather hasn't been bad this winter. I got fish back up in the stream and I got frogs. So it's obvious that what they did to treat the water worked and it didn't do anything to the ecosystem here, which I'm worried about because I got horses and animals that drink out of the stream. So it's important to me to maintain and not leave it in a mess. And that they did. They did an excellent job. I think that partnerships between townships, boroughs, cities, and the state and federal government should exist forever. They're uh, a huge asset to these smaller communities that don't have the, the tax base and the, the revenue stream that uh, is required to do a project of this size. From start to finish, from the time we looked at it until we're done, we're talking less than five months time, um, which is pretty astounding in a lot of government.